are doctors and technology, substitutes or complements? And I just did a video on whether doctors and nurses are substitutes and complements. And spoiler, um, they're both. It depends on the situation. Now, the same is going to be true of doctors and technology, but there's going to be this added twist, which is, um, now this is actually somewhat at play with doctors and nurses, but it's very much at play with doctors and technology, which is that the product of healthcare is actually a really different product that looks really different when you add technology. They're, they're not even close to the same thing. So let me do a table that would capture the normal way we would think about substitutes and complements here. Okay, in a normal situation, if you add the technology, and if that leads to a decrease in the demand for doctors, then that means these are substitutes. You're switching, people are switching their behavior from going to the doctor to the technology. If you add technology and that increases the demand for the doctor, that means they're complements. Now, of course, the product of going to the doctor is going to be really, really different for these two different things. So um, a lot of times people will complain that if the doctor has to use the technology too much, then it actually very much reduces the quality of the doctor-patient relationship because the doctor is not listening closely to the patient, the doctor is spending way fewer minutes sort of looking the patient in the eye, building that connection, thinking about the patient and that relationship. They're spending more time just entering data into the system. Okay, and one of the issues here is that if you think about what happens when the doctor switches from that relationship-based uh, visit to the doctor to entering a whole bunch of data, well, one thing that can happen is that data goes behind the scenes, it gets pooled with a whole bunch of other data to generate new information. Like these, these systems, these technological systems can identify new trends, they can um, feed the medical research complex so, so that we have more information about medicine. And of course, information is a public good. The more we know about things that are associated with certain diagnoses, the better we can practice medicine. So, so by use of technology, it increases the quality of the overall product in the long run once you factor in all the research that's done with the extra data. But if you compare the visit to the doctor where there's no technology to the visit where there is a lot of technology and most of the visit is interacting with the, the system over here, um, a lot of people would say actually they would prefer the doctor visit that is mainly the doctor. So this is kind of a weird relationship because of this. Um, if you have situations where the doctor spends a lot of time with the patient, those are the doctors whose time fills up really fast. You can't get an appointment with them because everybody wants to go see those doctors. So the demand for those doctors may go up. Now, will the actual salary for those doctors go up uh, or do they just fill up their books? Well, it may depend on what kind of system they're operating within. So um, this is actually a pretty complex question. Just like with nurses, in some situations there may be a substitute relationship, in other situations there may be a complement relationship, but it's really more about the public good um, that is medical knowledge that grows when the technology sort of feeds the, the research system more data. Now, I will make some critiques here because I think the information that's captured in these uh, medical records may not actually fully capture what's going on with patient illness, and that can create major biases. It could be that the, the doctor in spending time looking at the patient, interviewing the patient, is going to pick up on some really human things going on that relate to the illness, but that, that don't really check a box in the, um, in the medical records system. And I strongly suspect, especially with a lot of chronic illness, that it's those human factors and those motivational factors that matter most. 
So I, I tend to sort of favor more of a doctor-patient relationship model. Um, even though I am a medical researcher, I mean, I've, I've worked with a lot of medical data. I love having the data available. But I, I've come to believe that the data that we're, we're actually spending a lot of time interrupting this doctor-patient relationship gathering, it's just not the right data for a lot of things, and it's crowding out real medical care. So I think I think we need a new model, especially for chronic illness, but this video is just about substitutes and complements, so I will be quiet.